Hi, I'm Joe Bartles from Carnegie Mellon University, and this is a presentation on our programmable light curtains. Some of you may have never heard of light curtains before, but I am sure that you have all experienced them. Light curtains are the devices and elevator doors that keep the door from closing when objects are in the way. If light emitted from one side of the door is not received by the other side of the door, then it knows that something is in the way and stays open. Besides elevators, light curtains are often required in factories to keep people safe from heavy machinery. Light curtains are very simple and very reliable, but they are also very inflexible, as they can only image a single predefined plane. In our work, we've taken the safety, reliability, and the concept of light curtains and made them fully programmable. We call our imaging method programmable triangulation light curtains. Triangulation light curtains are formed by first intersecting a plane of light with a plane of imaging to triangulate a line. This line forms a linear sample of the volume and is the only part of the scene we are capturing. By changing the angles of the planes, we can move the line and sample different lines in the scene. Now if there is an object along this line, the light is reflected back to the camera and it sees the object. But if there is nothing at this intersection, the camera doesn't receive any light. And so a set of these lines forms a triangulation light curtain. To capture light curtains, we use a laser and line lens to create a sheet of light that is steered by a galvo mirror and imaged by a rolling shutter camera. The galvo mirror rapidly moves to steer the light sheet in sync with the progression of the rolling shutter across the pixel columns to capture the light curtain. This enables the capturing of light curtains at the full frame rate of the camera. By syncing the galvo mirror with the progression of the rolling shutter, the point on the curtain can rapidly be changed and an entire curtain is captured in a single camera frame. This is our rolling shutter light curtain device. It is comprised of a galvo mirror, line laser module, rolling shutter camera, and a helper camera. The line laser module projects a laser line onto the galvo mirror, which then steers the light sheet onto the light curtain surface. This device uses a near infrared laser and has an outdoor range of 20 meters in bright sunlight. Here the device was configured to image a cosine shaped light curtain. The light curtain surface is rendered in blue and the detections are rendered in green. You can see that as the tubes are rearranged, the person is detected when he crosses the curtain and the tubes are not detected when they're moved. Our light curtain device also works well outdoors. Here is an example where we program the light curtain to detect objects along a plane 15 meters away. At this range, the light curtain fully detects the objects as they move across the plane and a LiDAR only detects them as a few points. But this device isn't limited to just static curtains. It can also be used as a selective 3D sensor. The high frame rate of the camera enables us to rapidly reprogram the device to image 60 different light curtains per second. By changing the curtain each frame, we can program the light curtain to sample different areas of the scene and produce 3D models. With the high speed and agility of our prototype, we are capable of adaptively imaging and discovering a scene using light curtains. An example of this adaptivity is shown in here. Random curtains are first used to initially scan the scene and discover a few points. New light curtains are then fit to these detected points and then swept through the volume to find more of the scene. As more of the curtains are imaged, the model is refined. Here we use adaptive curtains to map a high bay environment from a robot. As the robot navigates the environment, the curtains change to follow the contour of the scene out to a maximum distance of five meters. When no objects are immediately present, the device searches the environment with random curtains until objects are found. Notice that as it moves through the environment, the curtains tightly form around the front surfaces of objects. Onboard localization is used to create a map of the environment using the detected points. Light curtains are also effective in smoke. This video shows the light curtain onboard a robot driving through a smoke-filled tunnel. Since triangulation light curtains only capture a single line at a time, they block most scattered light and work well in smoke. As the robot traverses the tunnel, a planar light curtain is pushed through the volume and captures the floor, the studs on the wall, and the objects in the scene. One of the applications for light curtains is automotive safety systems. In this application, light curtains can be designed to form a virtual bumper around vehicles and provide high-resolution 3D detection of near-vehicle objects that LiDAR and camera systems struggle to capture effectively. As demonstrated here, programmable light curtains are a powerful new type of 3D sensor that enables selective 3D sampling of a scene and also work well in a variety of conditions and applications. For more information, please visit our websites to access related papers and more videos. Thank you.